Hey, it's Drew DiOrsi here, creator of the Body Life Mastery Program. And before you start your first hypnotic meditation, I want to explain how my meditations are much different than what you might be used to if you've done guided meditations in the past. You see, the purpose of my meditations is to reprogram your mind at the subconscious level so that you can achieve your goals faster. And in order for my meditation to successfully do this, you and I need to be on the same page. We must create harmony if we are going to be successful at this. So with that in mind, please listen very carefully to everything I'm about to say. First things first, when you start the meditation, make sure you are in a quiet and a comfortable place. Eliminate distractions and turn off all notifications. It is best to listen to these meditations with headphones. Now, let's talk more about how I use hypnotherapy in my meditations to successfully reprogram your mind at the subconscious level. First off, hypnotherapy is not mind control. Nobody can make you feel or think anything you don't want to feel or think. In fact, hypnotherapy is when you realize how much control you have over your mind and body. And because of this new heightened state of control that you tap into during your hypnotic trance, you have the ability to effortlessly shift the way you feel in the blink of an eye. And when your feelings change, your biology and your behavior changes. To give you an example, when under a hypnotic trance, I may suggest to you that you can't open your eyes. And I'll even tell you that the harder you try to open your eyes, the more you realize you can't. And when you accept this suggestion, it will literally feel like you can't open your eyes, and thus you won't be able to. And that's because your feelings influence your biology. Now, this will be a bizarre sensation at first, but you will get used to it. And of course, you could open your eyes if you absolutely needed to, like if somebody broke into your house, if there was an emergency, etc., you'd be able to open your eyes. But because you are in a safe environment when listening to this recording, and because you trust me, you accept the suggestion, and it will literally feel like you can't open your eyes. And now, when under a hypnotic trance, the same thing is going to happen when I suggest to you that you are full of confidence and motivation and that you are the 2.0 version of yourself. And when you accept this suggestion, you will literally feel like you are immediately injected with the perfect amount of confidence and motivation. Thus, you will act accordingly, meaning you will be more influenced to take the necessary action to move closer towards your goals. This will be true even if you felt insecure and lazy before listening to the meditation. Now, why does this happen? Well, the reason this happens is because when you are in a state of hypnosis, you momentarily lose all ability to think analytically. Now, when this happens, you no longer have access to your logical mind. No need to worry, though, because losing access to your analytical and your logical mind gives you a huge advantage when it comes to breaking bad habits and creating lasting change in the future. So let me explain why this is so. You see, the biggest reason people feel stuck and they struggle to achieve their goals is because they think that what they need to achieve their goals is outside of them. Meaning, most people believe that if only they had access to the right supplements or the perfect nutrition plan or the world's smartest coach, then they'd finally be able to achieve their results. Now, we can't blame them for this. After all, it's a very logical thing to believe. Of course, it makes sense to believe that knowing what supplements to take, foods to eat, and exercises to do would lead towards amazing results. That makes sense, but unfortunately, that's not how it really works. And if it worked like that, you would already be living your dream life in your dream body. And I say that because you've already come across good enough coaches or good enough programs that if practiced consistently would have yielded you the results you wanted. But somewhere along the way, 
your negative subconscious programming began to take over and it forced you to sabotage yourself. And although the coaches were good and the programs were good, they never taught you how to reprogram your subconscious mind for great success. Because here's the truth. When you learn how to reprogram your subconscious mind, which is what the Body Life Mastery Program teaches you, you will achieve your goals no matter what technique is being used. That is to say, when you need to succeed, or I'm sorry, what you need to succeed is already within you. And it's your subconscious mind that might be holding you back. And all we need to do moving forward is to program your subconscious mind in a way that is aligned with your desired reality. So no, you don't need to keep searching for the perfect supplement. You don't need someone to tell you what foods are bad for you. You don't need the most advanced exercise equipment. You simply need to reprogram your mind at the subconscious level. Yes, I am going to give you advice on foods and supplements and exercises, that will speed up your results. But the most important aspect to your success is reprogramming your subconscious mind. And the idea of reprogramming your subconscious mind doesn't sound achievable when using your logical mind. And that's because a huge roadblock for people is that they have convinced themselves that they are their past. Meaning most people believe that if they let themselves down yesterday, then they'll do it again today. So eventually, they just stop believing in themselves when they say they want to change. Sure, they say they want to change, but deep down, they don't believe it. Most people don't even trust themselves anymore. How sad is that? And of course, this is another very logical thing to believe, right? If I did X yesterday, then I'll do X today, right? Wrong. It does not have to be that way. In fact, it cannot be that way for change to occur. You must drop the logic and you must have faith that something new and something better can happen today, which is where the hypnotic trance comes into play. You can think of hypnosis like this. <clears throat> At the most basic level, your mind is separated between two parts. Okay, You have your conscious and your subconscious mind. And imagine that they are on a seesaw or a teeter-totter together, each of them sitting on opposite ends of the seesaw. And at any given moment, either your conscious mind is at the top and is dominating your state of awareness and your subconscious is at the bottom and lays dormant, or your subconscious is at the top and is dominating your state of awareness and your conscious is at the bottom and lays dormant. Okay, like a seesaw, either one is at the top and one's on the bottom or vice versa. Now, when your conscious is dominating your state of awareness like it is right now, listening to this, and like it is most of the time, your thinking is very logical and rational. And you reject all new information until you have the time to analyze it and prove it worthy based off of your past experiences or based off of your made up beliefs about what is possible for you. And this is why it can be so hard to change when you only use your conscious mind. Because if I told your conscious mind right now that you are going to lose 10 pounds of fat in the next six weeks or the next few months, and you are also going to become the most confident and successful person in your office or in your line of work, you will immediately analyze my suggestion and you will come up with a million and one reasons as to why neither of those things are going to ever happen. You will compare my suggestion to your failed attempts at losing weight in the past. You will compare my suggestion to how anxious you got around your boss during your last big presentation. You will compare my suggestion to how the men in the office always get treated better than you. After all, these are very logical things to consider. Of course they are. And this, my friend, is why people remain stuck. They only have access to their logical, conscious mind. But listen to this. When your subconscious mind moves to the top of the seesaw and begins to dominate your state of awareness, like it does when you are in a hypnotic trance listening to my meditations, 
you lose all ability to rationalize. And within just a few minutes of going into the meditation, all of a sudden, you stop thinking logically. And under this trance, you begin to wholeheartedly believe what the conscious mind would consider silly or impossible. And yet, while listening to these meditations, it's almost as if you stop thinking altogether. And instead of thinking, you feel. Everything I say begins to shape your reality because it shapes the way you feel. And because when you're in a hypnotic trance, and I suggest to you that you're going to lose 10 pounds, and that you are going to become the most confident person in your office, and that you're going to become more confident in your skin every day, you will immediately feel that statement take over your entire body. What your subconscious mind hears will harden into fact, and it will change your behavior. That's because your subconscious mind has no ability to analyze what I'm saying. And as long as what I say and what I suggest is aligned with your desired reality, you will immediately accept what I say to be true. In a sense, you surrender to something greater than yourself. And because your conscious mind is dormant and your subconscious mind is dominating your state of awareness during these meditations, you are no longer who you were yesterday or even five minutes ago. And for perhaps the first time in your entire life, you can become whoever you want to be. You see, one must leave the conscious mind and enter the realm of the subconscious mind to find one's true potential. The purpose of my meditations, then, is to put your subconscious mind in the position of dominating your state of awareness so you can find your true potential. And the reason this is paramount to your future success is because studies have shown that 95% of your thoughts and emotions are influenced by your subconscious. So even when your conscious mind is at the top of the seesaw and your subconscious mind is dormant, your subconscious mind is still influencing everything you think and do. Therefore, if you can reprogram your mind at the subconscious level to be resilient, to be disciplined, to be joyful and confident and whatever, that, whatever else you want to be, then that means 95% of your thoughts and emotions will be aligned with this new programming. Our mission then is to get your subconscious mind familiar with what it feels like to live in your desired reality so that when you wake up out of your hypnotic trance and you drop back into your conscious mind, you will be influenced by your subconscious to show up as the 2.0 you 95% of the time. Please know that I'm not saying everything is going to be easy and breezy from this moment forward. There's still going to be many occasions where you will still have to get uncomfortable if you want to get ahead. But after listening to these meditations for the next six weeks and beyond, your subconscious mind will no longer pull you down like most people's subconscious does, and instead it will pull you up to new heights, new heights that you never thought possible. So when, any, so when in a hypnotic trance, you can expect to feel physically and mentally relaxed and at the same time very aware of everything going on around you. And before you listen to the meditations, please make sure you are in a quiet and a comfortable place. You can sit down or you can lie down, whatever you feel comfortable with. But please turn off your notifications and use your headphones. And without further ado, let's do the work. Let's jump into our first hypnotic meditation. Hey, it's Drew Diorsi, creator of the Body Life Mastery Program, and welcome to your first hypnotic meditation. Now, the meditation for week one is designed specifically to tap your subconscious mind into the mental and the emotional state of the healthiest, the happiest, and the most successful 2.0 version of yourself. And now the most important thing moving forward is that you pay very close attention to everything I say so you can follow my instructions. This will ensure your success. So when I ask you to open or close your eyes, please do so. 
When I ask you to breathe at a certain time, please do so. When I ask you to imagine or visualize something, please allow yourself to bring up the image or the vision in your mind's eye. Now, during this meditation, you can expect to feel very relaxed while also remaining acutely aware of everything that's happening in your mind and your body. With all that being said, what I want you to do now is to find a comfortable place to sit or lay down. You can go ahead and do that now and pause the recording if need be. Okay, great. Now that you're comfortable, I want you to direct your gaze at any particular object in front of you. It can be real or imaginary. Hold your gaze at that one spot. Pinpoint your focus. Staring intently at that one object or that one spot. Good job. Keep staring. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to take in a long, deep inhale through your nose. Go ahead and do that now. Take in a long, deep inhale. And then slowly release that breath through your mouth. And as you release your breath, allow yourself to also release any tension in your body that you may have been feeling. Let's do that a couple more times. Take in a long, deep inhale through your nose. And then let go of any physical tension as you release that breath through your mouth. You're doing a great job. Let's do that once more. Taking a long, deep inhale through your nose, expanding your diaphragm. And now I want you to hold your breath at the top for five long seconds. And then slowly exhale through your mouth. And as you exhale, just simply allow your eyes to close. And as your eyes close, you will feel a major shift in your level of relaxation, feeling much more relaxed now than you felt just moments ago keeping your eyes closed. Now I want you to imagine as if you had two layers of eyelids and that you are closing your eyes for a second time. You can do that now. Imagine that you are closing your eyes for a second time and just notice how relaxing that feels. Your eyelids feel so relaxed that you can imagine what it would feel like for your eyelids to be sealed shut for your eyelids to be glued shut and stuck together as if you couldn't open them. In fact, in a moment, I'm going to have you try and open your eyelids, but you won't be able to because they feel so heavy and so relaxed. And now when you are so confident, when you are so sure that you can't open up your eyelids because they're so heavy, they're sealed shut, they're so relaxed, you can go ahead and try. And the harder you try to open up your eyelids, the more you realize you can't. So you can just go ahead and stop trying now. And now that your eyes are completely relaxed and at ease, I want you to take that same relaxed and at ease feeling that you have in your eyes and spread it throughout your entire body. Do that now. Wonderful. I want you to imagine or visualize yourself looking down a flight of stairs. You can even feel that looking down sensation you get as you look over a steep balcony. Take over your entire body. That's right. Now in a moment, as I count down from the numbers 10 to 1, you are going to imagine or visualize yourself walking down the steps. Each decreasing number I count will cause you to take one step down the staircase. And with each step you take, your body and your mind will drop deeper and deeper into a very relaxed hypnotic trance so that by the time you reach the last step, you will be completely relaxed and everything I say from that moment forward will instantly and automatically reprogram your subconscious mind and shape your reality for the better, thus helping you achieve your goals faster. So you are looking down that flight of stairs now. That's right. Starting with the number 10, seeing yourself take that first step. Nine, feeling more relaxed with each step you take. Eight, already noticing a shift taking over your mind and your body. Seven, deeper and deeper still. Six, sinking into a very relaxed state. Wow. 
five, twice as deep as you were just moments ago. Four, now what I want you to do is double your level of relaxation with the final few steps you take. Three, doubling your level of relaxation now. That's right, really allowing yourself to drop deep. Two, doubling your level of relaxation again. One, taking that final step and dropping deep, so deep into your hypnotic trance. And you might begin to notice that your level of focus has become extremely heightened. And that's because you are now in a state dominated by your subconscious. And when that happens, your inner world becomes more real than your outer world, thereby giving you intimate access to reprogram your mind for greater success. So I want you to expect great things to unfold and manifest from this meditation. And before we move on any further with the process of tapping your subconscious mind into the mental and the emotional state of the healthiest, the happiest, and the most successful 2.0 version of yourself, I want you to release and get rid of any negative emotion, thought, or feeling that might be lingering around inside your mind or your body. So in a moment, I'm going to count down from the numbers 15 to the number 1. And with each decreasing number I count, I want you to observe as all the negative emotions, thoughts, or feelings that you are holding on to will simply fade away and slip out of your grasp. You might be aware of a few negative thoughts, emotions, or feelings that you need to let go of right now, or... You might only become aware of them as they melt away and your chest and your heart become lighter and more open and you feel freer. Either way, as I count down from 15 to the number one, all your negative thoughts, emotions, and feelings will melt away so that by the time I get to the number one, they will be completely gone. Starting with the number 15. 14, releasing anything you've been holding on to. 13, observing all the negativity melting away. 12, already noticing these feelings of being lighter and freer. 11, 10, 9, let whatever was lingering around fade away. 8, those negative thoughts are starting to leave your body and your mind now. 7, feeling calmer. And feeling more connected, sex melting and fading. Five, four, if there are any more lingering negative thoughts or emotions, just simply allow them to fade away now. Let go of them now. Three, that's right. Two, one, feeling light, feeling free, feeling ready and excited to tap into the healthiest, the happiest, and the most successful 2.0 version of yourself. And now, as you do this, and as you listen to this meditation, your inner mind, the most powerful, the most driving, the most motivating part of you, is locking onto the image of you achieving whatever you put your mind towards. And just notice how empowered you feel right now. You feel like you can achieve your goals, and it feels so good. And in a moment... I'm going to ask you to imagine or visualize yourself looking at the healthiest and the happiest and the most successful 2.0 version of yourself. The 2.0 version of you will be standing directly in front of you. And when you look at the 2.0 version of yourself, I want you to notice everything about them. I want you to notice their body. I want you to notice their thoughts and their habits. I want you to notice their self-talk. I want you to notice their energy and how they communicate with their friends and their families and their family. I want you to notice whatever you need to notice. And as you look at the 2.0 you, allow yourself to get a crystal clear image of who they are exactly. Okay, I think you're ready now. Imagine or visualize that the the 2.0 you is standing directly in front of you. Do this now. You are now looking at the healthiest, the happiest, the most beautiful, the most successful 2.0 version of yourself. I want you to take it all in. Notice their body and notice their energy. Wow. Notice their strength and notice their poise. 
Notice their confidence and their courage. Notice everything you need to notice about the 2.0 version of yourself. And as you look at the 2.0 you, I want you to notice that the only thing that is different between who you are now and the 2.0 you is merely a shift in attitude and behavior. That's it. Everything else is the exact same. Which means by shifting your inner attitude and your behavior, you will become the 2.0 you. And once you become the 2.0 you, success will feel effortless. It will be second nature. Achieving your goals will be guaranteed. And I want you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say. Because in a moment, I am going to ask you to imagine or visualize yourself standing up in your mind's eye and going in to hug and embrace the 2.0 version of yourself. And when you do this, you will notice an immediate shift in your mental and emotional state. That's because when you hug the 2.0 version of you, you will be embodying everything they stand for. You will breathe like them. You will feel like them. You will think like them. You will act like them. You will talk like them. You will plan your future like them. And you will become them. This is going to happen quickly. So be prepared for a major shift to take over your mind and your body. Okay, I think you're ready. Go ahead and hug the 2.0 version of you now and hold on to them tightly. Do this now. That's right. Noticing everything you're feeling right now. You are truly stepping into your power. You are becoming the 2.0 version of yourself right now and you feel so good. You feel so confident. You feel so worthy and so motivated and so successful. And I want you to keep holding on to the 2.0 version of yourself until you feel like you have embodied everything about them. These feelings will stick with you throughout the rest of your day today, and they will continue to become more profound as each day passes, meaning you will feel and act more like the 2.0 you every day that passes. This will have a major impact on your overall mood in a very positive way. And now that you have embodied the 2.0 version of yourself completely and entirely, I want you to let go of them and thank them for everything they've done for you. That's right. Tell them that you appreciate them, that you love them, and that you honor them, and that you are grateful for them. And once you've done that, I want you to release the image of the 2.0 you and come back to the sensations of your physical body. You can feel yourself radiating positive energy. And I want you to get ready for amazing things to come your way now that you are living in this new state of being. From this moment forward, you are going to continue to step into the reality of the 2.0 you more and more every day. And it might not always be easy, but there's no going back. Before we finish this meditation, I want you to give thanks for what you want as if you have already achieved it. So give thanks for your new health. Give thanks for your new healthy and beautiful body. Give thanks for your new success and your new confidence. Give thanks for whatever you want more of in your life. Because whatever you feel grateful for in your life, you attract more of. In a moment, I'm going to count up from the numbers one to the number five. And with each increasing number that I count, you will feel more awake and more excited for what the future has in store for you. And by the time I get to the number five, you will open your eyes and you will enjoy the rest of your day feeling as if you are the 2.0 you. Starting with the number one, feeling more awake. Two, feeling less relaxed. Three, coming back to your senses. Four, excited to achieve your goals. Five, fully awake, opening your eyes. Thank you so much for listening to this. I highly encourage you to come back to this recording as frequently as you possibly can so we can keep reinforcing the mental and the emotional state of the 2.0 you. This will ensure your success. Go act accordingly. Go be the 2.0 version of yourself right now, no matter what.